new episode of the New Leaf Podcast. My name is Garmin. You can find me on Instagram as newleafdesigns.nl and this is my podcast about knitting, crocheting, and my journey as a full-time knitwear and crochet designer. Hi guys! So you might have seen my FO show episode where I showed all of the finished objects. This episode is going to be all about my works in progress, my whips, and I'm going to start just by picking one that is closest to me so it's not in particular order and I am starting off with my cozy moments uh, shawl. Um, I had finished one of those and I showed them to you guys last time and in this video I'm going to show you my work in progress. It's in my new bag um, which is from Martina, Tin and Meep and I'll show it in more detail in my wooly goodies vlog. I also got this yarn hugger at her, at her website. So it's really great for if you're working from the inside of a ball so it won't collapse. Um, yes, so oh, I'm in the middle of a row. <laughs> okay, that is pretty unfortunate. So. Yes, the Cozy Moments shawl is my own pattern. <laughs> I've just taken one of the finished sample pieces to show you. So this is my Cozy Moments shawl. The pattern is available in my Ravelry store as a paid PDF, but it's also available for free on my blog. It was published in uh, a few different parts, so it was kind of... Um, not a mystery knit along, but yeah, just a knit along, a new part was published each week starting from February 14th. And um, I recorded tutorial videos for each lace part on this um, YouTube channel, so you might have seen a couple of those. And I have completed my whirly gig version of the shawl, which is really big and luscious. Um, version. You can check out my last video if you want to see it. And this is my whirl version. So it's the same yarn as the sample, just a different colorway. And this is the Kiwi Drizzle colorway. And it's going from Kiwi Green to Blue. And I'm working on that blue right now. And then it's going back to green and then to a really dark um, blue. So that will be really pretty. And I am at the sixth lace pattern, I think, which is the lacy cables. And I'm almost halfway. Uh, through this section and then I can continue on with the next one. Um, it's been really fun to knit this shawl together with so many people and um, there have been just so many beautiful shawls popping up in my Instagram feed with the hashtag Cozy Moment Shawl and also in the Scapius Facebook groups where we hosted the make along. And it's just been so great to see even beginner knitters uh, attempting this shawl and, su and succeeding. Um, that has been just really great and I love seeing people um, being creative with my pattern. I've heard someone is gonna knit a Cozy Moments skirt and um, at least one at least one person is doing a full circle version. So not a half pie, but a full pie shawl. Yeah, and someone is knitting with mohair, um, and someone is knitting with whirl and mohair combined. And yes, yeah, just really great to see. And I love seeing all of the different colors as well. So this is my first whip, and I cast this on um, in, in February somewhere. Um, I think it was, well, it was before the start of the make along. Um, so yeah, in the beginning of February and I'm just, is this halfway? I don't know. Yeah, but 
uh, because the rows are getting longer and longer. So I am at the sixth lace pattern of a total of eight, but it can't say I'm over halfway because the first half is much quicker as the rows are shorter. So this has been a really fun project and I'm really uh, dying to finish this one now that I finished my first version as well. Moving on, and I've just chosen this bag for this next project, but the project is actually too small <laughs> for this bag. Uh, this bag is also by Martine, also by Tien and Miep. And it's a beautiful tote bag and I was actually um, it had this shawl project in there until uh, until I finished it just before I filmed the previous video and in here is the start of a sock and this one will be or this pair will be for my grandpa as I can't visit him at the moment and yeah I thought I would make something for him I've never really knit him something and um, socks are always my go-to gift and so I asked my parents if if grandpa could still um, you know put on his own socks because I know that's not really uh, easy especially not for el for elderly people and he has this kind of uh, mm, not machine but like this large spoon thing I think to put on his sock so so I think he'll be fine um yeah so <laughs> these are not my usual color but they are my grandpa's colors so yes army green just a lot of brown and beige uh, he wears beige and browns all the time and then just a hint of uh, petrol blue green for the toe and I'm gonna use this one for the cuff uh, for the cuff as well and I'm planning to do a little gusset and then do a German short row heel uh, I've done that for uh, one pair of socks of mine and have and the fit is just great so I'm gonna try that for him as well because the German short row heel I really like it and it fits on me but it doesn't have a lot of room so uh, and I want to make sure these socks are comfortable so I'm gonna um, knit a gusset as well so just add a couple of stitches on each side to make it a little bit wider so that they are more comfortable and then I think on the leg that I will do a little cable on each side I think that will be nice to add a little bit of texture um, so these are the start of my grandpa socks, or opa socks, I call them opa. Um, yeah, so I am working on those, it's just a really fun quick project. Oh, the yarn. Um, this I know, this is Scapius Metropolis, which is my new favorite sock yarn. And this, um, I'm really not sure. It could be Regia, uh, really not sure. <laughs> I ordered a bunch of sock yarn uh, two years ago and this was one of them and I don't remember who it is by. On to another pair of socks, uh, one that has been in the works for hmm, since two years as well. I cast these on at Yarndale 2008. 18, so that's September 2018 and they are the third version of my striped and stranded socks <laughs> and I'm knitting them on DPNs which is really out of character for me and I'm on to the cuff of the first sock and I just lost motivation because I don't like the way it looks it doesn't look very neat and I'm not sure whether that's due to the DPNs or the yarn or I just don't know so yeah I'll just finish this one block it and then decide whether I knit another one <laughs> so yeah I'm using a self-striping yarn this one is Regia 
hair effect. And the stripes are really wide, so I could do a really uh, long color work chart, which is really fun. And I did the same one over and over. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I'll have to see when it's blocked. And uh, the contrast yarn that I am using is Scapius R-Tribe, uh, which is a single ply merino nylon yarn. I've used it for socks before, uh, and I think it's really nice. Um, and they have variegated colors, and this is one of the solid colors. So yeah, I hope I'm going to finish this sock soon, and then I'll see whether I knit another one or maybe I'll just knit a pair of shorter socks with the remainder of this ball because I do really like the stripes I just uh, I just don't don't know if I like yeah I just don't know if I like this one but we'll see it's not much longer until I finish it then and this project always makes me smile when I look at it. It's one of my favorite works in progress, even though I rarely work on it. But when I do, I work on it monogamously for a while. It's my ember sweater. Oh, look at that! I'm not sure if this is the front or the back. Oh, this is the front. Because it has short row shaping in the back. So I'm working on the body. I will need to redo the neck as it's a little bit um, too wide, but I'll see how that looks after blocking. Maybe the body grows a lot and then the neckline can sit a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna leave that until I finish the rest of the sweater. I'm almost at the hem right now. I'm adding some more color work because it was a little bit too short for my liking and I'm not sure which color to choose for the ribbing but I think I'm gonna do it in gray just not quite sure yet uh, this is mostly my hand eye yarn this is um, my wool rami base that's um, oh I've forgotten I think it's 80% wool, 20% rami. Rami is a plant fiber and uh, you can kind of see it as a plant version of nylon. It makes the yarn a little bit stronger so it's um, suitable for socks as well. And this one I've dyed with birch leaves. And then the gray yarn is also my own hand dyed that is dyed with acorns and then iron and this one is called Momo because my cat is also gray and the uh, white yarn um, I've just added a new ball and this is pure undyed uh, yarn and then this I had dyed it with uh, some cochineal which usually gives a little bit of a, um, a pink hue, but it was the very last dye bath, so it's very, very, very light. So yeah, it's barely undyed actually. So I just decided to use that for myself. And then the pink and uh, purple scraps here and there are uh, mini skeins from Hey Mama Wolf and from Sandra's Craftfulness. Uh, Sandra's Craftfulness is sadly no longer dying um, for the moment. Um, yeah, I was sad to uh, see that she has closed her yarn dyeing business, but yeah, maybe she'll come back. Maybe. I hope so. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite, favorite projects. I love working on it. Um, yeah to finish it soon 
If you would like to get some of my hand dyed yarn as well to knit a sweater or to knit socks or knit whatever, I still have some yarn in my shop. Um, sales have actually been really slow, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be continuing with dyeing yarn as it's very um, intensive to do it um, naturally. Uh, as I only use natural ingredients, so I dye with avocado skins, I dye with birch leaves, cochineal, matter root, uh, acorns, and then also natural modifiers. So it's just been really labor intensive. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it um, on a big scale anymore. It's, it's not been a big scale up until now but um, if I'm gonna be doing it to sell anymore. So if you are, um, if you want to get some hand dyed yarns, there are still some in the shop. Um, yeah, so go and check that out. I'm not sure if I mentioned the name of the sweater yet. It's the Ember sweater and it's, um, it's a design by Yuko. I'll put her full name on the screen. I think it's a wonderful design and uh, so I tweaked it a little bit here and there. I added this um, piece of color work in between here and that is just a mod modification of the first color work chart. I added I added this uh, chart here which is a modification of this chart and then I'm also adding some color work here simply because I don't know I just love color work and uh, I wanted to add some more in there also to give it some more length but also because um, taking away this and this part uh, it would have been too too much of one color for me um, so I'm happy that I added that and yeah so I'll be working on the hem shortly and then I'll have the sleeves to finish and I hope I won't leave it for too long. Uh, I think I started this in October or November when I went to uh, visit my aunt in Switzerland and um, I think I got up until um, I don't know maybe the gray part. I finished most of what I have right now. I finished that in that week and then uh, afterwards I did this. Yeah, so I hope that I'll be able to finish it soon as I need more hand knits in my life. I need more hand knit sweaters and cardigans and yeah. And then the last work in progress that I'm going to show you uh, is going to be a gift for a friend of mine who recently had a baby boy. Uh, I don't think that she is watching, but um, her boyfriend might be watching. So Tobin, if you're watching this, please <laughs> stop watching because it's gonna ruin the surprise. Um, so I'm gonna start talking about it. So yes, okay, I will reveal the secret. <laughs> so I still have to finish it, but um, I am crocheting a baby blanket out of all blues and greens. And this is how it looks so far. It's quite big, actually. Uh, yeah, I made it quite wide so they, um, they can really wrap the baby in there. Uh, and I want to add some more length to it. Yeah, but I'm really liking it so far. Um, it's my own pattern and I will, or I am writing up the pattern as we speak. Um, yeah, I, I hope it will be available in the summer. Um, my mom is uh, working on a different version and you really, really want to see that version, but uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to wait. <laughs> um, yeah, just because I don't wanna start making people excited um, when the pattern, you know, is only gonna be published in uh, summertime. So, yes. 
it's a really easy pattern. It's going to be free pattern, by the way, on my blog. Um, this is all made with Scapius yarns. I'm using Scapius Gatona and Scapius Cotton 8. Not sure if I have a ball band, but um, yeah, I'm using all blues and greens. I've used up so much of my stash yarn, uh, and I'm calling this the Stash Buster Sea Waves Blanket, or at least that's the working title. So a little bit of a backstory here. So the friend who just had a baby, uh, we used to be co-workers and um, a couple years ago we went on holiday together to Bali, uh, Indonesia, and um, she convinced me to take a diving class. <laughs> well, I think, I don't know if I have really thought about it before, but um, yeah, I was a little bit scared of diving, uh, but then she said it was going to be so much fun, and she convinced me, and it was a lot of fun, and now I'm totally, um, <laughs> I'm totally into diving, and um, I try to make a diving trip every year, and yeah, I'm so grateful for her. Um, that she showed me into this diving world and so this is supposed to look like the sea, the ocean and um, she's gonna have, or at least she told me she's gonna have this underwater theme for the nur nursery so that will be really cute and I'm still debating whether I will leave it like this or that I will um, crochet like little fish and starfish and sew it on top. I might do that, but uh, I'm not sure yet. Because I do like how it looks right now. Um, it's kind of like my Shiv Rainbow blanket in that you crochet every, um, every row on the same side and then you crochet in the back loop. So you have these lines across your work from the leftover loop and on the edges I have some fringe so there's no weaving in of ends and I still have to trim them obviously but yeah so that is my stash buster sea wave blanket and yeah I can't wait to show you the other version that my mom is making yeah, but I just, I really like this as well. I really like it. Yeah, so um, I'm subtly working away on this. I was supposed to go visit her and her baby uh, in the beginning of April, but we've canceled that right now. And I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to visit her, but um, if we visit or when we visit, I do want to make sure that there's no threat, so, you know, I don't want to uh, infect her or the baby or, yeah. So, better safe than sorry, and uh, it'll give me some more time to actually finish this. So there's that. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy to be working on this. It's really uh, nice and um, almost mindless. You do have to count a little bit but um, it's really nice TV crochet. And those are all of my works. Well, not all of my works in progress. Most of my works in progress right now. Um, and I do have some secret ones, but um, you'll see them eventually. Uh, just a little more patience. And as I said, I will be recording another vlog where I will show my woolly goodies that I have bought over the last uh, couple of weeks, or maybe the last two weeks, because um, it's really, really important to keep supporting our uh, favorite makers, such as yarn dyers, um, pattern designers, yarn shops, um, you know, every kind of independent uh, business, they need our support right now. And um, 
I pretended to go to a yarn and yarn festival and I bought a lot of things online and I am really excited to be able to show you and I will record a new vlog for that my woolly goodies vlog so stay tuned for that so I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy wash your hands and just you know find new ways to entertain yourself try out new lipsticks or try out new uh, nail polish um, yeah just I hope you all Stay happy and healthy, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.